Charles, you know, there's medal ceremonies happening. You're about to get your very last world championship medal and the last medal of your career. How, how did you live this moment? Uh, well, it was one of the most uh, emotional moment of my life, you know, knowing my little daughter on the stands, like with the, uh, all my boys on the ice, work the, the hardest we could to, uh, to reach the podium. We finally did it, bronze medal. But, you know, the medal at the end doesn't mean anything. Uh, I had my last moment at home with my crowd, with my family, with my daughter. Uh, I just, I just want to thank you, to thanks everyone for all those years. You give me a little love, I'll love you back. I had the chance to speak with your fiance and I to meet a Violet. I spoke to your father, who was her coach in the beginning as well. You know, uh, how is it to be able to share this moment with them here in Montreal? It means the world for me, you know. I started with them, uh, my family, in the speed skating, you know. The speed, speed skating became my family, and my girlfriend learned a lot about the speed skating, and she understand pretty quickly that my family, my family was bigger than only my real family, and uh, she loved everyone uh, on the team and in uh, on Team Canada, and just. It means just the world that everyone there uh, work, uh, everyone in the same direction to uh, accomplish uh, our uh, ultimate goal to uh, to achieve the, the podium here. Charles, there's only one thing I think all of Canada wants to tell you is thank you for the emotions. I lost my voice <laughs> screaming for you. Thank you so much and uh, congratulations on one of the best careers in Canadian sports history. Thank you very much and you know I want to just say it again. Thanks a lot for all the love you, you brought me during all my career. Uh, it means a lot, and I want to I wanna say uh, last time, thanks a lot to everyone.